Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So in a recent vlog video on my Do It On A Dime family channel, I showed some bulk burritos that I had made. Bulk cooking that I had done right before I gave birth to my son. And a lot of you guys requested for me to actually show you how I made this and how we saved a bunch of money by doing this. This is what the burrito looks like. I just have some sour cream and salsa on it. They're absolutely fantastic. You guys are going to love these. And the best part about this is, this will yield 48 burritos that you can freeze. Yes, they heat up amazingly, and they only cost 72 cents a piece. So when you go out to get the ingredients, it's gonna cost you about $35. Here's what you'll need. The first thing is six packs of either whole grain or multi-grain tortillas, and that should have about eight tortillas per bag. You're also going to need some dry pinto beans. This is your protein. These are very, very inexpensive. Mine are less than $2. You need two bags of 32 ounces. And you also need cheese. I wait for a buy two, get three free sale at my grocery store. And you also need this Indian rice, um, basmati, I think. I'm probably saying that wrong, but you'll need that. And you're also going to need kosher salts, as well as two onions. I'm just showing one here, and a little bit of Tabasco sauce. So if you're one of my Hispanic friends, taking pinto beans that are bagged instead of canned is like putting on an old shoe. But for a lot of people, it can be very intimidating if you've never taken beans and cooked them like the old fashioned traditional way. But seriously, it cuts down on all of those bad chemicals and extra salt and stuff. And I just think they taste a lot better. So all you wanna do is empty out the bags that you're gonna be using. We used a bag and a half and just rinse them out to get all like the rocks out and just to make sure that they're nice and clean. So preparing them is really simple. You just use 10 cups of water per pound of the dry beans, and you're gonna put it into a large stock pot and bring it to a boil for two minutes and then have them rest for one hour covered. Then after that, you're gonna rinse the beans and you're ready to use them. Then you want to prepare your rice according to the package directions. So I think the key to making these taste extra tasty is chopping up two onions to add to the burritos as well as putting some Tabasco sauce on your rice. So when everything is all laid out, it looks like this. I've got the beans, rice, and onions chopped up. I also have my cheese and tortillas, and you need Ziploc bags for storing them as well as aluminum foil. So the process for putting these together is simple. You just take squares of aluminum foil and set your tortilla on it, and then you're just going to add your ingredients. First we add the beans, and then we add a little bit of rice, followed by the onion, and then you're going to put the cheese on top. Now the key to making this is to make sure that you don't overstuff it because then if you do, they're really not as good and you've got stuff busting out the sides and they're really hard to fold. But Charlie's like a master folder. He just takes the sides up, curves it around, gives it a little tuck, and then he's just going to take the aluminum foil and it's ready for labeling. So when everything is all said and done, it looks like this. I take about six to eight burritos per Ziploc baggie and just stuff them in, and I'm going to put these in the freezer, and I usually take out one bag at a time to defrost in the fridge before we warm them up in the microwave. And you can see I've labeled them with what's inside as well as the date, and these are so, so yummy. Now to reheat these, you can use a conventional oven about 350 degrees for maybe about 10 minutes or so, or you can just zap them in the microwave for about two minutes and top with your favorite salsa. I just use this Harris Teeter brand, it's less than $2 for the jar, and sour cream because I love sour cream so much. And to this one, I've also added a little bit of cilantro sauce because I felt like it. And it is part of this glorious, nutritious meal. This is a dinner that we had the other night, just a walnut and goat cheese and berry salad and this burrito. No meat in it, but you would never know. It is divine. I'm such a huge proponent of going meatless at least once a week. It definitely saves lots of money. 